Welcome to the final judgment. I want to play a game. The game where a group of friends use a series of statements made by a mystery person to guess their identity. From their physical appearance, you and she's a redhead. Straight bold. It's given white. <laughs> to the type of person. Oh, but she's one of us. <laughs> so we don't think to be educated. That person has no shame. <laughs> and then their final judgment. Could they be friends with this person? She had enough prosecco, yeah. <laughs> They're probably a colleague at work. Yeah. But would I share my sandwich? No. But there's a twist. One of the contestants already knows who the mystery person is because it's them. Our group today is a bunch of youngers who grew up together. But will their friendship survive the game? Hi, my name's Ren, and I'm throwing in Xiao Hao. They are the hot mess of the group. Hi, I'm Xiao, and I'm throwing in Phoebe, who is the mum friend of the group. My name's Phoebe, and I'm throwing in Alice, my bestie with a god complex. Let's welcome the contestants. Hi. <laughs> Round one. What is the physical appearance of the mystery person? Their age, gender, ethnicity and hair colour. Is it wacky pink? Are they inked? Ready for the first question? When asked for their perfect night in, they said a box set and an early night. For you lot, a box set is the old school version of a Netflix binge. But okay, like age, if we're talking here. Age. It could be like... 30s? Yeah. What, I'm not yeah, in my 30s though. That sounds like my good night. Would you call it a box set? No, I wouldn't because call it you know a, yeah, like a, a box set. Because you know that's a shout. That's a shout, actually. I just think older, yeah. I'm just thinking wine mum. Wine mum? Yeah. I can imagine my mum. Mom. No, yeah. but like... Yeah, yeah that, that is your mum. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, feel like, I feel like it's me like 30, like early 30s. Yeah, like 30s. I don't think it's going to be old. Time for our next clue. When asked, what is your secret pleasure? Our person replied, I do like a boiled sweet. Naughty. Okay, we're talking about naughty. No, we're talking about a naughty We're talking about old person. All right, I'm sure okay. you're desperate for the next clue. When yes, asked, do you believe in the monarchy? Our person replied, yes, for the history. And added, my favourite royal is Anne. Mine's Harry. Oh, is that, um, I feel like you are definitely you old know, for that. Princess Anne. I, I feel like you're about to say Anne Boleyn. I was. <laughs> oh, Were you actually? <laughs> oh, okay, I'm okay, sorry, I'm sorry. Now. I feel like our profile hasn't really changed. I'm getting I'm, a white I'm woman. I'm getting a white, white, white woman. Old white woman. <laughs> old white yeah, woman. Old white woman. No tattoos. Hair colour. Grey. Grey. Or yeah. blonde. No, I'm, in, I'm imagining like... No, because Anne has dark hair. She does. So have, you're thinking they want to look like Anne. Her no, no, no. But like people like, tend to like the people like, that you know, or they try to be like the person that they like. You like Post Malone. Yeah, you don't I look like Post Malone. Post Malone. You don't got face tattoos. <laughs> Sorry. Like yeah. Curly I think that would be a solid look for her. You know. We're literally describing my nana. <laughs> Same here. Are we going to bring her? Same around? here. <laughs> Guest star. Okay. <laughs> all of our grandparents' <laughs> nana. Was, was there another? Are we all set in our ways? Yeah. Yeah. Like the old women. Like the old women. Yeah. Let's go. End of round one, and it looks like our mystery person is a white tattooless wine mum aging faster than Benjamin Button. Time for round two. What kind of person is this? Education. Have they got a PhD? Or do they think that stands for PDD? And their politics. Left leaning or a pint with Farage? Time to get topical. When asked, should J.K. Rowling be cancelled for transphobia, our person replied, no, she should be educated. I feel like they might be a little bit younger than we were. What were we originally in, estimating? Like well, we were saying I was 80s. thinking like 80s, so Small. I'm thinking now like 70s, 70s, 70s like uh -huh. early 70s. I'm not going to lie, I'm thinking in. younger. Really? What, how young? 60s, what, 50s. Sweet. My dad and like my mum would still call it a boiled sweet. What was would you like another question? Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> When asked, who from history would you invite to dinner? They replied, Princess Diana. I want to know the inside scoop and what really happened. They really Ooh. like royalty. Does that mean that she likes Princess Diana or does she just want to know what happened? Mm, yeah, that's true. Next question, their favourite hobby, playing darts at the pub. Dance. Darts. Oh, that's darts. your dad. I thought, I thought like, that is an <laughs> this old is your dad. man. <laughs> Right, I'm going to say they're working class from the dance yeah, at the pub. Yeah, at the pub. <sighs> Education. Well, they clearly know more about the royal family than me, and I was pretty well educated. And then I think, like, basic, like, go to, like, 
I don't, maybe even not even college, like going to an apprenticeship for like education level. Yeah, maybe. Like yeah. Because like, I'm just thinking, yeah. like, like, kind of like, we're thinking manual. about their age as well. Not many people went to university back in like yeah. the. Yeah, because if we're saying that they're like, 50 yeah. 60. Yeah, I don't think they went to uni. No. Now, political leaning to the left, to the left, or right? Ooh. Liberal Democrat. No, I think I think I think I think Labour. I think Labour. Labour. Sometimes working class people do vote for Conservative Conservative because unfortunately, yeah, a bit ironic, but yeah. Oh no, no. I still I still think Labour. 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 Are you are you thinking Labour or are you thinking Tory? I am thinking thinking Tory, but um, I think Labour. If we're saying that they are working class, yeah, yeah, but potentially gone to an apprenticeship, and we're assuming like more like a Labour apprenticeship. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking Labour. Go for it. Well, our mystery person is going through more changes than a teenager's hormone levels. From freedom pass carrying woman to working class male hero who defo votes Labour. Time for round three, the final judgment. Could they be friends with this person? Ready for another fact? Indeed. Next question. What do they do on a Sunday? Answer, watch snooker. Wow. It is your dad. <laughs> in a He's going to come out and just like, Mickey's surprise. Mickey's walking out of here. <laughs> no, but seriously. No, no. Like, I, I still think it's like a 60-year-old man, 100%, that goes to the pub. And then when yeah. he's not at the pub, he's watching the snooker. With we also have tweets. to change his hair if we're... Oh, oh, it's not wispy not, and grey now. No, like when nah, I'm thinking bald. just straight bald. Yeah, like about facial hair. Facial hair, maybe a little goatee action. I don't think so. I just feel like stubble. Just stubble. <laughs> so just unclean. stubble. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> unclean, not kept well. <laughs> stubble is a choice. It is a choice. A bad one. <laughs> Alex, oh, I don't need to know, Alex, this is... know your opinion on facial hair right now. <laughs> Next question. When asked what makes you cringe, they answered someone overly close to their mother. This is one of those answers that raises a lot more questions. That's so random. Someone overly close close to their their mother. mother. Well, like physically or like... (laughs) (laughs) I hope not. That is Now I'm thinking it's like, like 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 it's a girl who's like 22. And he's like actually just judging men on a night out. Like no. if you live with your mum, like uh. I'm still I'm thinking. St- a man. I'm, th- I'm thinking. I'm still staying with our. Like I still either. think it's like an overprotective, like guy who just he's just like could, mummy's boy. So you don't accuse us of being stingy. Here's another clue. Their favorite conspiracy theory that the Titanic was meant to sink. The Titanic was meant to. So he could be like point. he could be one of those Facebook dads, you know, scrolling through <laughs> yeah, Facebook, yeah. Yeah. and he just sees like the like the conspiracy, and be like, oh wow, that's a great conspiracy kind of thing. Now the big one: Could you be friends with this person? I'm guessing not if you're a Jack Dawson mega fan. Uh-huh. Yes, I could be friends, but it depends how you uh, define you it. Be, like, really close. This is like a 58 year old man, according to us. <laughs> how like, close I, can I you be get, with a 50 year old How close can you be with a 50 year old, 8 year old man until it's a bit weird? I'll play darts <laughs> with him at the pub. You play darts I'd play yeah. darts at the pub. I'd play darts at the pub with anyone. Would you go to his house and watch the box sets? I would not. That's how, well, if you <laughs> phrase it like that, maybe not. Like that. <laughs> Me and Paul. If he's got boiled sweets, maybe. That's not all right. So yeah, we could be friends with this man. Potentially. Acquaintances. Wow. Shoot. So he's not invited into the friendship program. <laughs> he's not, not going to be sitting on, the, he's not sitting on the picture. So, there we have it. Our wine granny drank her way to a bald, stubbly, working class lefty. But he's not joining this friendship group, even with pear drops in his pocket. Time to reveal the mystery person. It's Alice. <laughs> <laughs> Is that literally all you? You're joking. <laughs> That's been me the whole time. <laughs> that actually hasn't surprised me. 
that, you, <laughs> that you're a 50 year old man. Because yeah. when have you played well, darts at the pub? All the time. Christmas Eve is darts. I did at the pub. not even know that there was darts at the Milford. Yeah. Wow. Guys, the more you know. <laughs> this is actually a quick really The fact that I'm not out. allowed in the friendship group is a bit of a red flag, everyone. <laughs> you called her a Tory. Yeah, I did actually. No wonder you were really like, no Labour. No, please, like Labour. Come on now. Do you think I'm a working class man? I'm not sure I take it as a compliment after all of this. <laughs> They've been friends a long time, but not long enough to know that Alice likes sinking snooker balls and ocean liners. How do they feel? Um, I found it really funny. I felt very betrayed. Once it sunk in, I realised, like, of course it was her. Alice is my girlfriend, and she knew since Monday. I've been with her every day since Monday. But I'm also not, but she is just an old man at heart, really. It just is her personality. She is a bit like a 58 old man. Probably learned that I'm more like my dad than anything. The fact that they started to guess my dad as one of the people. Don't trust Alice. No. Uh, yeah, no, I, to not really judge by like specific things about a person. Just not to base on stereotypes, like there are like some that I will still probably have, but like, yeah, just don't base everything on stereotypes, I guess. So what have we learned? I mean, other than Alice's savage take on the Titanic tragedy. Do not judge. <laughs>